I've been living fast, but I gotta go chase a check. Look at all my bands, you don't gotta go double check. I've been living real fast, I've been living my best. Hey everyone, in today's video I wanted to talk about this experience that I had making an NBA 2K19 game playing agent with some of my classmates. Basically the spring of our junior year we needed to take this deep learning class called CS230 with Professor Andrew Ang. And this was a project based class where throughout the quarter you have to make some sort of project that uses deep learning. So during this time me and my friends like basketball a lot so we also play NBA 2K and we decided why not try to combine both of those things and try to make a, an agent that can play. Professor, so what makes a good project? I'd imagine something that tackles a real life problem like poverty or maybe climate change? Of course not. A good project is one that just learns how to play a video game and it's called Deep Baller. But the problem with this is that we play on Xbox and with Xbox it's only designed to play games and you can't really run background apps on it. So we had to figure out a way where we could get the state of a game and make that into some sort of data that we could then train a model on so it can decide what inputs to send back to the Xbox. Basically we had to go off the visual output only, we couldn't use any sort of internal state from the game. So once we realized this, we knew that we had to try to find some sort of algorithm online that could uh, detect objects from a visual input. So we found this algorithm called YOLO, you only look once. It could take visual input in real time and based on some weights that's passed into it, it can look at that input and see if the objects that it's trained to look for are in there. Obviously this doesn't come with any weights to recognize NBA 2K models, so we had to get our own training data to train the YOLO algorithm to detect what we needed to detect. So to keep things a little bit simpler, we decided to try to play 3-on-3 three -three basketball so that way we don't have to detect 10 different players for 5v5. So in the 3v3 three -three basketball, the player is only controlling one player at a time. So this meant that we had to keep track of 6 different classes of objects. An opponent class, the player class, the teammate class, the basketball hoop class, the basketball class, and the shot meter class. The shot meter is what is used to determine when to, how to time a shot in NBA 2K. Within these six different classes, there's going to be three different opponents and there's going to be two teammates. So that means nine objects in total that we needed to detect. In order to teach YOLO to be able to detect these things, we had to get a bunch of training data and in order to get that training data, we needed to play hours of 2K and save the footage and go frame by frame and label the different objects in those frames. Now there's nine different objects, so that means that we had to draw nine different bounding boxes on 2000 or so images. And this took a long time. And you can imagine that we had a lot of images, so we wanted to go fast. Thankfully we had this tool where we could just like load all the images on there and like go through and label them one by one. but the problem was that this type of work was really mind numbing, it was super slow and like it was just really like unsatisfying work to do. So we would try to go fast, try to get it over with, but then that would lead to mistakes and then you have to like get out of your zone to delete the stuff and it's just terrible. Once we labeled everything though, the results were amazing. We were able to feed it some footage and it was able to detect all nine different objects with high confidence pretty easily. So not only would we get the visual output of the bounding boxes, but basically it would convert those into this data of up to nine different objects where each of those objects had a label. So basically whether or not it's a teammate, uh, an opponent, and on top of the label, it also had the coordinates for the bounding boxes. So the top left, right, bottom, and the bottoms. So using that, we played more 2K and we got some data. And basically what this resulted in was a training set where we had a bunch of different coordinates for the different objects on the screen mapped to the inputs that we were giving while playing the game. So basically this would allow us to teach the bot to play like we would. So once we gathered enough training data and we trained our model to be able to basically map coordinates into Xbox controller inputs, we needed to set up a way to do this live. Now I don't want to go too deep into the actual math and different layers that was put into the neural network, but in the description I'll put a link to a GitHub that has basically all the code that we used, and on top of that it has like our final paper that goes through the algorithms that we used in more detail. So in order to run these algorithms, we needed to figure out a way to get the Xbox live stream and go to a computer. Now with Windows this is pretty easy because they're both made by Microsoft, so we're just able to use the Xbox companion app to stream the Xbox gameplay to Windows PC. 
But the problem is that a lot of these algorithms that we needed to use, they didn't have any builds that were easy to use for Windows. Once we had our game playing agent trained and completed, we had this system of three different PC slash consoles. We had an Xbox console, a Linux PC, and a Windows PC. So what happened was that the Xbox would stream the gameplay to this capture card, which would then feed into the Linux PC, which could then run a, a build of YOLO that would allow for the algorithm to be applied to live streams instead of just videos that were already saved. So then the Linux PC would apply the YOLO algorithm and take the video input and it would convert it into data of objects in their coordinates. And once I had the objects in the coordinates, it would feed them into the game playing agent and it would take those coordinates and convert them into Xbox gameplay input. So through a server, we then send the output Xbox inputs from the Linux PC to the Windows PC, which would then send the inputs back to the Xbox through the Xbox companion app and basically deploy them. So basically we had this loop of an Xbox that would send the visual output to the Linux PC. The Linux PC would then extract the coordinates out of it using YOLO, and then it would send those coordinates through our built uh, agent. And then the output of the agent, which would be Xbox inputs, would be sent through a server to the Windows PC and then the Windows PC through the Xbox companion would send it back into the Xbox. Now, in my opinion, this was the most impressive part of the whole project. There wasn't really before any sort of setup that would take live Xbox gameplay and would identify different objects from it. And then based on those objects, create some sort of Xbox input. And now this is really hard because a lot of gameplay is based on precise timing. So the fact that we had to go through different networks and different machines was a little concerning because we had to make sure that we didn't take too much time so that way we could get enough frames per second to basically put in output. So the end result of this was basically a system that could take Xbox output and recognize the state of a 3v3 basketball game and put itself in an advantageous position to try to score. It would make good passes, it would put itself close to the hoop, and it would even try to shoot. Now in the end, this agent wasn't super good. It would lose every time and it would lose by a lot, but it would be able to score every once in a while. And we felt like with more data, it might've been able to be better. But given that this was a, a class, we didn't have too much time to keep on playing 2K and process all that data. So we went with what we could and we got a little bit of gameplay. Now we can see in the gameplay that the agent tries to make some passes and when it gets to Michael Jordan, it goes below the hoop and it actually tries to put it up for a layup and it goes in. The biggest downfall of this though was that on defense, it didn't really know what to do. You could just see Michael Jordan like running back to the bar or whatever, trying to get a drink while Bob Pettit and Will Chamberlain are trying to defend three players out there and basically it would really do nothing on defense. But then once it gets back on offense, it right away tries to make a pass and get down below the hoop. So after we got that gameplay, we wrapped everything up and pretty much presented it in the class's poster presentation. And from that presentation, we got recognized as one of the best projects in the class. And we can see on the website that we have our project listed there. So overall, this was a great experience. I learned a lot. It was great to work with my teammates and it was awesome to be recognized for it. So I'm just going to end the rest of this video with more of the gameplay with the YOLO algorithm detecting the bounding boxes. So make sure that you guys stick around for that. And if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Jack, I really think I hit the jackpot on this one, boy. Let's get it. You know, I be feeling like I can take this back to the trap with me. I've been living my life, but lately I've been thinking too much when I'm getting out. Sometimes I start a fight when I'm feeling low inside. I got thoughts up in my mind, yeah. I've been living my life, but lately I've been thinking too much when I'm getting high. Aye. Sometimes I start a fight when I'm feeling low inside. I got thoughts up in my mind, yeah. Feeling like no one by my side. Lived a hard life, it's crazy that I got here. You and I used to ride side by side But now we out here and we live two different lives You got swept up off your feet when I was just trying to go hard and chase my dreams, yeah I was in the same location every day of the week Back in 2017, trying to kick up heat This was soon to be a new beginning of who I gotta be and who I am Living my life with no ego down in Cali, I Life, chilling back with some friends I'm staying waving though, baby, I gotta chase a check I'm going hard, but baby, yeah, I rep the West Ay, yeah, ay You know I gotta go hard, steady flex Ay, yeah, I gotta steady flex Ay, yeah, I gotta steady flex For every penny, all the time, every dollar spent For every penny, all the time, every dollar spent I gotta go hard, I rep the West Ay, chilling back with some yeah, I'm chillin' with my friends, gotta go hard, gotta get the bread I've been living my life, but lately I've been thinking too 
too much when I'm getting high Sometimes I start a fight when I'm feeling low inside I got thoughts up in my mind, yeah I've been living my life, but lately I've been thinking too much when I'm getting high Ay, Sometimes I start a fight when I'm feeling low inside I got thoughts up in my mind, yeah to hear your voice, so your voice recording was enough. Ugh, I should hang up. What am I doing? Um, so I, I feel kind of dumb, but uh, I miss you. You know, I be feeling like I can take this jack to the trap with me. I've been living fast, but I gotta go chase a check Look at all my bins, you don't gotta go double check I've been living real fast, I've been living my best I've been living fast, but I gotta go chase a check Look at all my bins, you don't gotta go double check I've been living real fast, I've been living my best You ain't but the money, then save it Got out the mud, got out the basement Cash in, ball out, get Franklin's Two to the face, get faded That with me, say so take it I'ma go hard, go super say it LA West Side, where I'm staying I'll be up in the matrix, baby, from the wasted I'm at the top, all these people think I made it I got the guap, though, people still hating I make the pot, though, get in all my money And you know I got the cash, though Get out my cash, baby I spend my racks, baby I got my bands, baby I tell you, throw it back Get out my cash, baby I spend my racks, baby I got my bands, baby I tell you, throw it back I've been living fast, but I gotta go chase a check Look at all my bands, you don't gotta go double check I've been living real fast, I've been living my best I've been living fast, but I gotta go chase a check Look at all my bands, you don't gotta go double check I've been living real fast, I've been living my best 